It was so refreshing to hear these people that you admire so much go, oh yeah, I hear my inner critic every day. Or, you know, oh yeah, I feel like an imposter every single time I show up at an art show. And it's just like this, oh, and when they admit it, you know, it kind of gives you license to go, okay, well, I feel like that too, but I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm just going to power forward like they do. Uh, they might work in the studio for eight hours and everything they make is terrible. But the next day they go and they do it again. Where I would go to the studio and if I made something terrible, I would just not make anything for three months. <laughs> and then when you do that, your inner critic wins and it gets louder and louder and louder. But if you show up again the next day and you do something great, and you know, this applies to writing and music and cooking and parenting and everything, right? Like if you just keep showing up and doing it again and doing it again, that voice gets quieter and quieter because it loses its power. You know, I always say too, you know, when you were little and we would put on plays in the backyard or you'd write a little book or you'd sew something or paint something. You didn't care what people thought. You didn't care if it ended up in a gallery. You didn't care if it got published. You just made stuff. And so play is sort of finding that childlike joy again and just rolling around in it and enjoying it. Proper feedback gets you excited and moves you forward. Criticism that just comes from jerks online is meant to stop you in your tracks. That's the whole thing with this whole inner critic, self-doubt, jealousy is just owning it and calling it. If you try and put bravado on it, if you try and like, you know, push it down inside of you, it backfires. It's when you just trust yourself as a creative person, you relax, you listen and pay attention to the things that are happening around you, and it'll just show up. You have to be prepared for it. You have to be watching for it. Otherwise, it could just sail on by. Um, But you know, when I have those little things, I just jot them down because it often turns into the next thing.